What's going on guys, it's X, and I'm back from my uh, little trip to uh, take care of some business, but we're back, and uh, right now, we got some breaking news. The Dragon Ball Super card game final set just ended. I said I was going to stream it, but I decided not to, just I wanted to have some, uh, just a little more time of not streaming, that's cool, uh, but, you know, you ain't here for that, but what they did do is finally show us details of the upcoming Dragon Ball Super digital version. So now we're gonna go check out this information and I'm gonna tell you exactly how things are gonna go pretty much. So uh, let's get to it. So here we are on the main page is right here. You can probably see the actual like, thing right here. I'll put the link in the description when we get there. And so you know, they officially showed more details of the closed beta test for Dragon Ball Super. So let's actually kind of take a look at the actual trailer they dropped and see what's going on. HD <laughs> <laughs> the HD mountain. Yeah, we got the Shrine Wolf Super Card Game Trail out. Turn this down because my goodness. Step I should do a new stage of the digital yeah. world. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah. So basically, what. Let's just let play out for a bit and kind of look over in a second. Alright, go against power points around the globe. Gameplay. Same rules as standard Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Oh, oh! I was, I was talking about more. Let me ask the actual. With countless card effects that make it more exciting than ever. Actually done because I want to like actually. I have some opinions just off the little bit, and then we can go and dissect the actual trailer itself. So. The strategy is infinite. Face off with your own ultimately powerful deck. Realistic. That, that's that's the weirdest like thing in the entire trailer to me. Super realistic. I was just super realistic. Just like you're playing Dragon Ball. It's like you. It's like you actually have exaggerated swagger of a Super Saiyan. Experience the ultimate in card battle. Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Beta it is. testing March 25th to 26th, 2023. Check the official Dragon Ball Super Card game details and that's the official trailer. All right, so let's go back and kind of like dissect some of this. So right here we have a uh, right here we have a picture of which if you don't know what Dragon Ball Super is, basically you have effectively like a a main leader on the board that really. You know, that's probably like your. I'm trying to figure out how to actually say it, but like, it's been a while since I played Dragon Ball Super, like IRL, so um, excuse me for being rusty on this. But uh, what it is, like, you have effectively, like, if you know, like, Yu Gi Oh!, you know, how the Yu Gi Oh! or uh, Magic, like, the Commander, or like the the Deck Buddy, or whatever, or right? you have someone like you're playing as, and they're already on board, and what you do is they can attack as well, and then you start playing your. Your cards using your mana system and whatnot so the main goal is to go from eight take your opponent's life from eight to zero that's basically the main goal so yeah you've got kind of a picture of how the whole system works so get to a actual look of the board itself so yeah so uh, you've got your leader it shows your life that shows the power the opponent's life and power they're usually like around the same as i like specific decks that's it um down here i see this you have probably the anna or available no i think it's the actual amount of deck left so deck is here i think this is the mana system cards in the, the graveyard and cards in the i don't know what's I think it's probably like turn count? I don't know. 
I, I don't know how they're actually going to explain it. They'll probably explain the closed beta and whatnot. That's the whole thing. You got the whole, you got the turn time and the phases. Probably very similar to, uh, you know, how most games do when you have a button right here that, that switches, like, move on to the next phase and whatnot. So this is probably what that is, actually. Yeah, right there. I, I just passed it. And I'm going to. Go to another side right here. Uh, yeah, it's very obviously like kind of designed. While the test is actually on Windows, it's very obviously designed to also go on the phones, which makes sense. I mean, that's how you get the most player bases, right? A Master Duel's phone available. It's on the Switch. It's on PS4. You know, make it as optimal optimal for getting on the on the most platforms possible. You know. Also, I feel completely dark, but that's because one of these balls blew out and I have yet to actually replace it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like, you're here, you got all the... Here, you knocks out a card. Offense step. Combo, the combo mechanic, which... The combo mechanic is kind of like... If, you know, because it's Vanguard Channel, you don't have Vanguard. It's basically like the, offense, the offensive version of the, the guard step. Where it's like you can actually like play cards from your hand to actually increase power and combo off and like try to like increase power and whatnot. Same thing defensively to like protect cards and whatnot. So that's kind of main goal. So yeah, like attacking your opponent's life. So you know, state of awakening, opponent's attacking and kind of showing like. So, right, this is how the awakening looks. It's. And like showing all the other cards all right that's pretty you know basic stuff they also show like a little like, look of the uh card the, uh, deck builder um so i think this kind of will go into like a little bit of my kind of opinion on the actual look of the game itself now it's still it's going to be in closed beta right I mean, it's not going to be an open beta or anything right now but just just kind of off the, off the rip it the the card design on board feels a bit too generic if, if that's that's just me that's my own personal opinion it looks a bit too g generic it looks it doesn't really have its own style it looks kind of flat it looks it does look like they translated the cards the best they can into like more of a mini version for clarity but it still kind of just looks a bit eh. like the best part is like the field which based on our question are we going to have multiple fields because i'm going to be honest looking at the uh cell games arena for every game it's going to be starting to be boring it's going to be boring immediately straight up so i would like you know if there's gonna be like potential board uh a new board style you know I, i'm pretty sure they're gonna have sleeves i mean they'd be crazy not have sleeves look at all this art that they can just turn the sleeves for, for, for nothing right yeah, but like, we take a look at the uh, actual card things. Yeah, make a copy means potentially, I'm assuming there's probably gonna be crafting in this game, which that's also really good. Means that you already are beating Vanguard to the punch. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you got, you know, you got card possession, all cards right up there in front of everything. You've got cost order, you got the colors, you got the cost, type, power, you know, all the searching functions and whatnot. Shows you how many are actually in the deck. So it's actually a, a very like competent uh, search card searcher. The battles right now, and you know then they have these animations which I you know I think you see right here is like the Goku is at one, Vegeta asks a super attack, and it actually takes down. So my. So I'm assuming what's gonna happen is animation, like right here, yeah, right here. Basically, yeah, if you're, it basically is gonna be like if you're. Uh, I'm assuming that animation is just gonna be your Thomas. Like basically, I'm assuming like there's gonna be a final animation, which is like, oh, if you hit your opponent with this final move. You know it it will end you know it'll actually have this flashy animation that closes out the game which is gonna be cool because you know 
not many games have that kind of like, yeah, no, this is like the final attack. Like you win the game off of this. So that's actually pretty cool. And I really think that's going to be interesting. So, you know, we see Goku, uh, Goku's, and they also announced that the closed beta test will be in March 25th, 26th this year. Uh, so like in two, two and a half weeks. So, you know, make sure if you want to play this game, you want to like set some time, you know, whatnot. And that's pretty much it. So if we go to the actual overview, uh, it tells you right now, you know, before I, before I actually started the video, I'm going to be honest, they didn't have this updated. So now it's updated. So yeah, I can actually do the video. I was just going to be a, do a, never mind. I was going to do a, an actual post on you, YouTube, but no, we're just, so in this closed beta test, you can freely build a deck from 100 card types and participate in card battles with other test players. So we know there's at least 100 cards already in the beta. From I'm assuming from like a more recent era or whatnot, or like probably like an old era. Who knows? Uh, so modes available in this test: free match, languages in English. The free match mode can be played in this test. In this mode matching is performed randomly with other test players. We are playing a survey from for the closed beta testers <clears throat> in order to provide feedback to the development and management teams. If you participate in this closed beta test, we would greatly appreciate the response. So purpose of the closed beta test, testing of various game behavior, matching verification, server load test. So basically make sure that everything in testing actually works, make sure you can match, you know, just Work out the king, so like a beta should be straight up like a, a white lone beta. During the test gameplay, there's a possibility of bugs such as being freezing, crashing. This is the version still in development for test play purposes. We cannot guarantee a smooth gameplay experiences. And just keep in mind this. So we got Windows 10, Windows 11, 4, all this other 8 gig RAM, sort 8 gig higher. 8 gig higher? Okay. Uh, so, the testing period is not going to be the entire day, actually. It's going to be from 16, 1600 p.m. to uh, 20 p.m. PST, which that will do. It is, so it's going to be from 4 to 6. No, I'm dumb. 4 to 8, excuse me. 4 to 8. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh... Uh, which we call time is not great. 48 PST, which means it's gonna be a little bit later for me. So it's selected, they can participate in both part one and part two. So yeah, you got a Saturday and a Sunday to so participate. Entry start date March 5th. Deadline March 15th. So get your get it in now. You you can't wait. March 13th, numbers edition available 1200. So yeah, get your stuff in now. Just don't don't wait because this probably might actually fill up. Who knows? So now you get the actual entry. It's only open to residents of the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, France, Spain, Italy. Far Mexico, you, you don't get to play in the closed beta. Uh, notification is planned for March 21st or later, but a state may change depending on certain conditions. It will be randomly selected, only one entry is permitted. Uh, you know, all the other shenanigans, precautions, and I'll tell you to straight up all the, you know, it just gives you all the information, yada yada, rank queries, personal information, etc. That's basically everything you need to know about the current state of the Digital Version Drivable Supercard game. So, now, we don't know much more information other than this, so we don't know what sets are going to be available at the start, or how we're going to actually tackle this, or we're going to be within reason or we're gonna do like a magic duel we're gonna be like a few sets behind you know we don't know anything i assume we're gonna be a few sets behind because of just how things work so that's it but yeah that's basically all the information we got about dragon ball super card game uh one quick uh nerding hell yes budokai tenkaichi 4 let's go sorry <laughs> anyway that's enough uh if you want more content uh please like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye bye